What does defeat mean to you? Hi, Jason Chester from GetUncommonResults.com, where we help successful entrepreneurs explode past the current obstacles in which they faced. So I'm just on my way. I'm with my family. Don't worry. I'm not the one driving. And I got a call from a client of mine, a good friend of mine, and we're talking, and he was explaining that he just messed up. He had, well, not messed up, but made a mistake, a bit of a defeat, as you would say. And it got me wondering, what does defeat mean to you? Go ahead, type it in the box down below. Because I was talking to him and what had happened is he'd released his product and he had he spent months, six, seven, eight months working on this thing. He asked lots of people, did the typical market research, as you would say, typically, uh, which is just asking family and friends. <laughs> um, not recommended that way, by the way, if you can do market research, uh, send me a private message. I'll tell you the best way to do your market research uh, if, before launching a product. But besides the point, he did his uh, did his research, sent out the product, and it didn't sell. Didn't really work very well. Um, months, months worth of work, which really defeated him, and allowed him that he felt very defeated himself. And so it got me thinking of this great book. Uh, I believe it's from Ryan Halliday. Obstacle is the way. And so I flipped open the chapter and I started reading it to him. And basically, the summary version of defeat to him. A defeat is an opportunity to learn and grow. It's it's an opportunity to find out what works. And he went into talking about software and how software releases their products these days. Typically, they take the one feature, their main feature, and they release it quickly. And they see if their clientele or if the demographic actually wants it. And it's a great way, without spending months or years worth of uh, development and marketing, etc., by developing the feature, releasing the feature, finding out what people want and if they like it, and then based on the feedback they get, then going back and updating, correcting, and adjusting the program in which they made. It's a great, great approach. But how does that work in life? Have you ever spent months, weeks maybe, months, years, working towards something only to find out it didn't work, or that maybe there was a bigger obstacle ahead of you than you realized? Now, of course, like I said, there's many ways you can do it. One of my favorite ways to plan ahead and overcome the obstacles is a, is a process I call PERT. I love it. Those of you who take it understand. And so that's one way. But it got me back to the question about what is defeat? And when Ryan Halliday in his book, he was talking about it, defeat as an opportunity. Think about it this way. If, have you ever gone out, made a choice, made a mistake, only to find out that it led you down a better path, providing you had an open mind enough to see it. Yeah. So what is defeat for you? Is defeat the end? Or is it the chance to see the new opportunity, the new beginning, the new door which just opened for you? So go ahead, type it in the box down below. For me, I love defeat because every time I fail, as they say, it's a new opportunity to learn and grow. And I would not be here today if I have not faced as many obstacles and challenges in which I have, because every single time, no matter how hard it's been at that time, it's only helped me grow, expand, and learn from there. So again, I ask, what is defeat for you? Is it the end or is it the new beginning? Go ahead, type in the box below. And of course, for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you got a nugget of truth or a realization and aha, go ahead, like it. Share the love. Tell a friend or family member. Or of course, go to GetUncommonResults.com where you can find out more information on the different products we service or services we offer to help you get over that biggest challenge. And until next time, I'm Jason from Uncommon Results, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.